In today's video, we're going to be having a look at five new features in the recent 2022.11 update. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Update 2022.11 has just been released and as always the release is full of lots of great new features but this time around a lot of the features have been brought in and voted on by the community for the month of what the heck. Also with this release there's no release party with the home assistant developers as those guys are saving it all for the upcoming event for the state of the open home 2022 which is taking place on November 13th so if you haven't already got that in your calendars get that added in. Let's kick things off then with my first new feature and this one is a brand new integration for Oral-B toothbrushes. You may have seen Ian Duffy's video a couple of years ago where he used his toothbrush to control his lights. Well, you can finally make that dream a reality with this new Oral-B integration. I'm actually waiting for a toothbrush to arrive so I can actually test this integration out but using the integration you'll be able to get information from your toothbrush such as some of the data about the toothbrush itself and you'll also be able to control things using the states of the toothbrush so whether it's idle or in use and because you've got the power of automation you'll be able to combine that data with your automations so you could do things like ask your Amazon Echo or your smart home speaker if the person has brushed their teeth or not or you'll also be able to do things like maybe run some kind of scene when your toothbrush starts so maybe you want to play your favorite music or maybe you want to just turn on the bathroom lights. It's definitely more of a gimmicky one but who doesn't want their toothbrush in Home Assistant? Moving on then we've got my next feature and this one is probably my favorite feature of the whole update and it's the new enhancements to the Lemetric Time. If you're a subscriber of the channel, you may have seen my recent video on the Lemetric Time. In that video, I showed you how to send some notifications to the device all locally. I also mentioned that there were some big new features coming to the Lemetric integration, and some of those features are here now. In 2022.11, the integration has now reached the Platinum integration status, and that's the highest status you can have for a Home Assistant integration. Within the device's configuration, you'll find a bunch of new configuration options, and one of the ones which I think will be the most popular is the ability to dismiss current notifications and also dismiss all of the notifications. This one's going to be super handy, especially if you make use of persistent notifications, as you'll now be able to trigger that dismissal using an automation or a script. Frank's really gone to town on this integration, and those new configuration options aren't the only new changes. We've also got two new service calls, We've got the ability to display charts on the Lemetric Time and also a new enhanced version of Sending Messages. With the new Sending a Message service call for the Lemetric, you're going to be able to easily build up your message that you want to display on the Lemetric Time using some handy drop down menus. This is going to allow you to do things like selecting the sound or selecting the message icon. This is a very small and subtle thing, but it makes building a notification a whole lot easier and it saves you trawling through the Home Assistant integration documentation or even the Lemetric API documentation. Carrying on with my third new feature, we now have the ability to have automations and scripts automatically reload when they're created or modified. Prior to this update, if we created any new automations or scripts, or even if we edited an existing one, we'd need to reload all of our automations or all of our scripts in order for the changes to take effect. This was actually quite annoying and could actually cause some unexpected effects, or in some cases, if Home Assistant took a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes to actually come back to life, you could actually miss automations triggering because if they were time-based, it'd miss their times. But now with 2022.11, when you create a new automation or a new script, or if you edit any of those existing ones, only that edited one or that newly created one will be reloaded, so all of your other automations and scripts will remain working and active. Staying on topic with scripts and automations, you may have actually just spotted a very small change, and that small change is actually my fourth feature for this video, and that change is the icons for scripts and automations. This one's also a very small and minor change, but I think it makes scripts and automations just feel a whole lot newer and fresher. So rather than it being this big giant wall of text, You've now got these little icons and it just breaks it up and just makes the screen look a lot nicer. Again, on topic with automations and scripts, I've also heard that in the future there may be some changes coming that are going to allow you to actually categorize and organize the layout of your automations and scripts, maybe with folders or some kind of label. So be sure to look out for that. My fifth and final feature is one that I see a lot on Reddit and the Home Assistant forums and pretty much any energy video or any energy dashboard video that I do it just gets asked about in the comments 
and that feature is water consumption. This feature is another one of those really popular what the heck requests. So if you're one of those people that wanted to be able to track your water consumption using your energy dashboards or just have those statistics available in Home Assistant, you now finally can. As this is a brand new feature, there's currently only around five integrations that currently support the water usage feature. But I imagine over time, developers are gonna be able to update their integrations and you're gonna be able to track your water usage for all of those different water smart home devices. It's nice to see a feature like this that's been heavily requested finally get added and implemented. And it's just another one of those things that you're gonna be able to add to your energy dashboard and it just makes it feel a lot more complete. And there we are guys. That's been five features that I really like in 2022.11. There are, however, a lot of new changes and other features within this update. There's some brand new cards, there's some brand new integrations, and there's also lots of other little UI changes. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite feature was. And while you're down there, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell. You'll then be alerted to any future video that I do. As always, a massive thank you to these awesome dudes. These awesome dudes are my Patreons. And if you're interested in helping support my channel, which in turn allows me to create content like this, then you'll find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.